this is the game that I thought that we were going to get. Honestly thought this was the game that we were going to get. I seriously thought that, like, no matter what the fuck it was, this was going to be, you know, it would be a little bit of a rollback from this. But sadly, it wasn't. It really wasn't. Sadly, we ended up with the game that we got, but I thought this is what we were going to get. This video is intended for personal purposes only, so maybe sold, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Right? Mechs. Mechs. Walking mechs. There's not even a proto version of this. Look how old the dice logo is, man. Dude. I think this is ripped straight from the game. It's and then the world's freezing over. Right? Come on, you can't tell me this is fucking awesome, bro. There's no way. I mean, look, it's kind of janky. It's kind of low texture. But, like, if this is what you're building up to in a hundred years after the 20, 2042, you gotta split the difference here, right? They should have literally done 2143. Would have been fucking awesome. This is a Chinese guys. Chinese versus European Union, I believe. Oh, I guess you couldn't do that these days, could you? I mean, this is when you had game trailers that were like, just had gameplay in it. And they just did like their own machinima type deal. There we go. Boats. Exploded time. Look at this business, man. Rockstar do need to remaster the man. 100%. Come on, man. Titan mode. How long has it been since we had a decent fucking Titan mode, man? Bam, and you would go and it would wear down the shields of this Titan. It's your Titan, the enemy's Titan. The Titans would move around the battlefield. And then you could use that to call down air support. And then you have these little pod things that you drive around in. And then you would shoot yourself up once the shields were down. You get onto the Titan, destroy the fucking cores, and bring the whole Titan down. And that's how you won the match. It's fucking amazing. Amazing. Look, here we go. I think it shows the shields going. The shields are down. So then you drop pot out, or you go on these things, and then you pot up into the actual thing. Dude, Mech Warrior 2, bro. How hard, how hard would it be to redo this? Or something like this. Don't do 128 player, do 64 player, man. You make these environments a little bit more complex. You get on one side, blow up the security gate from one side, blow up the security gate from the other side, it opens up the call room, you shoot the call, you blow up the call. That's it. And then it explodes and you have a chance to drop off. Like this. Done. Easy. Super easy. Not a hard bar to hit. Not a hard bar to hit. I oh, remember that. And then back then, everyone was going, everyone was going through like these dog taggy things and going, oh, what is it? What does it say on the dog tag? There's like release dates. So like here you had like a whole bunch of like uh, coordinates and then in those coordinate positions I think they played a meta game and dropped dog tags for real I believe so fucking good man like holy shit or like is it that hard is it is it is it honestly that hard I mean you could just go you could do battlefield 2 um spec ops warfare as the expansion um Battlefield 2, was it Spec Ops? Battlefield 2... Um... We had like, night vision and shit. Special Forces. Look at this shit, man. Look at this fucking shit. Compared to what we got. You can't tell me that like... Maybe I'm just a boomer. Maybe I am. Big old boomer here. Look at this shit, man. Oh, your big red dice logo. It looked like a Disney logo for a little bit, for a hot minute. Right? 
Special Forces, man. Boys. <laughs> yeah. The big thing was like trying to play it off his. Because the whole thing was like you had like night vision and shit. Which was freaking awesome. Look at this, man. Look what we had back in my day. <laughs> this is freaking. This is this is this is playing video games. <laughs> I mean, everything doesn't need to be the latest and greatest big fucking Twitch fucking diamond dome and kids, man. The night raids in Tarkov are so much fun to do than your daily ones. This game, this game had it. <laughs> I mean, like janky. This cutscene is pretty sweet. It's pretty cool. Like, you know, from back then. It's almost like fan made shit, right? And your vision would be that limited when you'd play, so. Obviously, it wouldn't be this coordinated because you'd be bullets flying fucking everywhere, like Battlefield style. <laughs> Bro. Where did all the good fucking Battlefield machinima go? Like, back in the day, you'd get the Yakety Sack song. Like, people would, like, find, like, funny things that would happen on a TV show and then just recreate that in, like, Battlefield machinima. It'd be funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah, you had the, uh, the zip line, man. The fucking zip line was so sweet. Until you realize that, like, you just wait till the, the enemy gets like three quarters of the way across, you just bang him, bang him off as it one. So good. Fuck, man. Bring this shit back. I think the maps are a little bit small, too. It's very, very close, uh, close to uh, base combat. And this was the start of when um, EA basically busted these uh, three separate exp two or three separate expansions for Battlefield 2 and then obviously the expansions got paid less than the base game. Um, which is silly, they should have just rolled it all out into the same one, but they wanted to make money off people that wanted to play this game. Pretty fucking good man, even for back then. But yes, this is literally what it was. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty fucking cool for back then.